This tutorial is designed to show you how to give student feedback in Blackboard 9. What we'll do first is we'll talk about quick comments, we'll talk about grading assignments, and then we'll talk about giving individual feedback for test questions. So what you first need to do is log into Blackboard and go into one of your courses and go to the Grade Center. And first of all, I'm going to show you about feedback in a um, column that you've created for an in-class assignment. So let's say I've created my column, I've put some grades in. Now if I drop down next to the grade, I can add a quick comment and I can put whatever I'd like. So great job in class. And then I'll hit submit. And now when a student logs in, they'll see that comment next to their grade. If I've given a test and there is a, um, it grades itself, if you drop down next to that, there's a quick comment as well. And I can do the same thing. Good job on your test. Hit submit. And again, students will see that. With assignments, so I've created an assignment in a content area, and now I want students, I would need to grade that and give student feedback. I need to go to the attempt, and then what I can do is I can read the paper that was submitted. I can then give a grade for this. So, and then I can give feedback. So, great job. Now, when I hit submit, um, that feedback will also be next to a, the student's grade when they log in. What's interesting is you can actually edit that now that you've graded that assignment there is a quick comment box now next to the grade and when you click on that you'll see your feedback and you can update that if you wish. So if you go in as a student and a student clicks on their grades they can see their points that they earned and then the comment next to it. Okay. Now one other thing is if you created an assessment or a test in Blackboard and you want to give feedback on individual test questions I'm going to go into my assignments area where I created this test and I'm going to drop down and I'm going to edit the test. And when every question I, that I've created, it gives me the opportunity to put feedback in them. If I drop down next to the text, test question and hit edit, um, not at the top where you've entered your question or the, or the actual answers, but way down at the bottom, there's an area where you can give correct or incorrect response feedback. So if the student so gives the right answer or the wrong answer, they can see feedback based on that. Okay? You have to hit submit after each time you edit a question. Now, the last thing you have to be aware of is if you want students to see the question's feedback, you actually drop down next to the test and you go edit test options. And what you need to do is after you make it available to students, down at the bottom there's an option that students will allow students to see the feedback. So you have to make sure this box right here, feedback, is checked. Then they'll see that correct and incorrect feedback um, that you created in each question. Now if you want to see what that looks like from a student's perspective, this test right here had that one question. When they click on their grade, and they click on their grade again, they will see the test question and then you'll see the feedback right there. So students can get feedback on individual questions as well as just their grades. So that is how you give student feedback in Blackboard 9. Thanks for watching this tutorial.